Good morning, Caleb. How are you? Tired. Did you have a lovely day yesterday? Yeah. It was Caleb's first anniversary, him and his wife. Did you do anything fun? Not really? Just hung out together? What are you going to do today? You're on a mowing route? Yep. And Blaine. It is early, early in the morning, and you were the first person here. What do you do when you get here this early in the morning? Uh, add oil to the generators, get the office warming up, get the truck warming up. Because we don't have electricity unless we got the generator going, right? Yeah. Yay. So I'm thankful for you. And then what do you do for the guys in the morning? If I have time, I'll usually hook their trucks up and get the boxes opened up and make sure all the mowers have oil. Our systems are a lot more efficient now, aren't they, with less breakdowns because yeah. do you check all their mowers and the oil and Generally, like make yeah. sure all their trucks have what they need for the day? Generally, yeah. It saves so much time that you do that now. There's so many less um, issues during the day. Yeah. Do you make sure like all their trimmers have enough um, string and all that kind of thing in their trailers? Yeah, I check the spools on all the trailer lists and the, in the trailers. And Make sure everyone has at least enough for the day. Yeah. Not exactly. Another spool. About how many mows do you do in a day? Uh, depends on. Sometimes we'll do four big ones or mm -hmm. twenty little ones. That's <laughs> awesome. Where we're at. And we're in September. So how is it for paid for performance at this time of year? It's a little slower than it was in July. Yeah, July and August July, when it's dry. Or, yeah. You can do a lot more mows oh, yeah. in a lot less time. Yeah. So that kind of that kind of makes up for spring, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm thankful for you. I hope you have a great day.